G'day, Nathan from Ozzyaka here again, just continuing the series on the roof object from AutoCAD Architecture. It goes back right to uh, AutoCAD des Architecture Desktop version 1. Now, this tip today, though, uh, does require some information that's required in uh, AutoCAD Desktop, Architecture Desktop version 3, some, some things that were introduced into that version. Okay, just uh, looking at... I'm revisiting an article that was written by Odin Carey in on his Archidime website and he showed two great examples of how to create uh, holes in a, in a lower floor for the upper floor using the Model Explorer and I want to revisit that simply using uh, the power of the AutoCAD architecture roof tool. Now quickly on the first example he gave uh, I take the tool palettes, the design tab I right click on the roof tool and apply tool properties to line work and it's very easy to create my roof uh, from that and I can obviously change all the parameters of that in the in the properties palette uh, I've got a perimeter for my upper wall I can extrude that to a mass element no and create that and that gives you a hint uh, about where we're going to go Let's have a look at the other example, and we're going to uh, work out how to do this one, and you'll be able to go back and, and complete the other one. So I'm going to create an, or an object, and the first thing I'm going to do is drag the gable, and something disappears. You'll see something happens here. So I click on that. Let's just get that out the way. Let's zoom over to here. You'll see our gable didn't happen. Uh, when you're doing a roof, if I'm doing a square object, there will be some clashing sometimes on very small, any, any measurements really, there could be clashes with the square roof. I'm going to change that to plumb and you can see my gable pops up. And that is uh, simply due to the clash with the overhang. Now if I do this, the other way to do it, ed ed edit edges, go to the slope, select 90 and we're done. And we've got our roof shape. All right, but what? Did, how do we deal with cutting the hole? We cannot cut a hole. There is no right-click option or anything to cut a hole in a roof object. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you how you can do it with a roof object. Uh, tracing the upper floor, uh, sorry, the the perimeter of the upper floor, and creating these primitive objects. I've got to do them one at a time because they're different objects. Now I'm going to do one in the mass object. Okay, and just checking that that elevation that's caught me up before, making sure these two elevations are sitting down. And this one is at zero elevation, yep. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to extrude. Because you can actually do this with many different objects. You don't need to use uh, mass elements. Uh, you can use uh, curtain wall, uh, walls, you can use all sorts of things to add objects uh, or shapes to your overall shape. Now we're next going to call up the, the Model Explorer. Um, Autodesk thought they'd hide this from you. Why? I'm not sure. It's not found on the ribbon until you actually create one, so that's really helpful. We're going to create a new grouping. We're going to select the roof and we're going to select a couple of the components and we're going to put a location in the corner here. And that's just uh, gives us these uh, little tag options to do some complex editing later. Now, you'll see in the object, we can also come in and we can say, add some couple of extra objects. And what they do is they become part of uh, the model in Model Explorer of a mass group. What we do is we simply take these and we I haven't got any right click option and that's because I've got the thing selected. Alright, so what we do in here, we can right click and select subtracting. For each one of these you can select the additive if you want to add a, a complex shape to a roof. But we're going to just make these subtractive. And you can see that each of these elements in there, the roof, alright. And we'll have a look at the mass group as a whole, voila. What we have is a hole. Now you can do AC mass 
element and go to the convert option see and convert things to mass elements the problem is though that once you create that object you can never go back you don't have the uh, intelligence of the roof object with this object here the way I've just done it you can actually go into this symbol here and say for example if they wanted to stretch their building and then select finish voila you have edited the object you have not lost the intelligence of the AutoCAD architecture roof object and everything will update nicely that's a mass element uh, you can give it a uh, and a material, a little rock and roof material, if you need to match other materials or if you can give it its own anyway. You can got all the display there for a mass element. So hopefully that will show you uh, an excellent way to create very quickly, very efficiently, uh, create holes for a ground floor that uh, wraps around an upper floor and you still maintain all the intelligence of the AutoCAD architecture roof object. As I said, this goes uh, the, the roof object itself. The trips and tips and tricks are all made back to AD21. This, however, is good for uh, back to AD architectural desktop version three, or was it 3.3? .3? Cheers.